welcome everyone. Careful. No, that's just the marker. That's a marker. Okay. Um, so, to give everyone a, a heads up on today, we're going to be working with a ballpoint pen. I just have a black ballpoint pen, and I love working in pen. So, I'm going to do a portrait style image of Marvin the Martian. You are welcome to do what I do or a character or something uh, realis uh, realism. So like a photograph or something of your own if you want. But I'm going to go through and we're going to create a drawing just using a ballpoint pen. We're, we're not even using like we normally do with like a photo blue pencil or something like that to get our underdrawing done. Nope. Straight up pen. So if we make a mistake, oh well, it's ink. Remember, there are no mistakes. They're just happy accidents, so says Bob Ross. So, uh, and today is only going to be a half an hour. So I'm going to do 30 minutes on this as there are many, many things going on. So let's get into it. Um, first of all, welcome everybody. Happy Thursday. I hope you had a great week so far. Um, I'm looking forward to going back. I didn't get to hit anybody's classes, but to watching them later. Um, everybody have pence or pen and paper. Yes, pen, paper. I'm going to take the one person I can see, which is T as a yes. All right. And everybody else I'm sure has that as well. So today's super easy, just pen and paper. Uh, and here's how I want to start. So when I'm drawing in with a pen, this is super crucial. I'm still doing construction lines, right? And, and mapping things out, but I'm drawing very lightly. Okay. Uh, like super light. And it doesn't matter if I can see some of my construction lines underneath my pen work. Like so nice. what I want to do is I want to start out, um, I'm going to do Marvin because Marvin is one of my favorites and I'm just, I'm going to get my super light. You can kind of see it. I'll zoom in a little bit more. There we go. This is my very light initial circle, right? I'm keeping it super light. How light is light? I'll show you right here. This super dark right this super light you can't even really see it so it, just don't press hard with your pen now for this portrait marvin is going to be looking a little bit uh off and he, he's going to be looking back at us but he's going to be tilting his head to our left his right so you can see i have kind of my lines down here for my construction i know which way he's looking Again, I'm not going super dark. Now, the nice thing about Marvin's head and what we're going to do is when we go into shade with our pen using like cross hatching techniques, it's going to cover up a lot of this. Um, so I want to start in with his head and I'm going to do just a real light circle. So kind of like when we're doing our pen work before, I will do very light pencil, or I'm sorry, pencil, I'll do very light pencil work and then I'll go in with um, a harder line later. So same kind of thing, except for we cannot erase this. So once it's in, it's in. And no, it doesn't count if you have the erasable ink pens. Um, all right, let's get the underside to his helmet. There we go. Okay, so I'm gonna, again, keep it super light. Super light. I know it's, it might be a little hard to distinguish um, with my lights on, like how light it is, but I think you guys can get the gist. All right, and then we're gonna get his side flaps in. Um, so here's one reason why I love drawing with pen. It's not forgiving at all. Once you make that mark, it's on there. And what I have found to be really um, constructive in my learning is I'm far more intentional about the lines that I'm making when I'm using an ink, like a pen, than if I'm just using pencil and I know I can erase. All right, so if I've got here, I've got his brush, which is gonna be like right above here. Yeah, on the, yep. on the tip of his helmet, you're right. All right. 
And I'm going to show you guys, uh, I think some of you have seen the pen drawings that I've done of like Bono. Um, but I'm going to show you what I've done with a ballpoint pen on an airplane. So that was fun. So I'm just going to get, again, light lines down, all construction stuff. I'm not doing any detail yet. Let's get those lines in on his brush. Okay. And we're going to do the eyes. Now the eyes for Marvin are going to... He's got that, he's got that kind of like glare that he usually does when someone makes him very angry, which is not hard to do at all for Marvin. Marvin voice, but I'm not sure it would be any good right now. So here's, my, here's his eyes. And then he's gonna be kind of looking back at us. So I'm gonna put his there it is. Oh, it's like he's staring into my soul. All right, and then I'm gonna do I'm gonna do his eyebrows, except for the fact that I'm just gonna do kind of like super light, because obviously we're it, this is gonna be a lighter color, so I'm just kind of mapping that out a little bit. So, just like that, is it Scott? Is it too hard to see with that reflection or with that shadow? I can see it just fine. Okay, all right, good. Now, um, I'm gonna bring his body out just a little bit because he's gonna have this kind of indignant pose. And... There we go. And we'll get his fingers in there in his gloves, maybe his hands a little small there. But anyway, I'm not gonna do a full figure on him. I'm just gonna do. Just gonna do his initial. There we go, make his hand a little bit bigger. All right, again, not forgiving, right? So now in the in this style of like cartoon drawing that we're doing, um, it's not just sketching with a pen, but notice even when I'm thinking about it and my posing, because I'm using ink, I get one shot at this. Maybe, you know, even if I do a light line, it's not necessarily gonna forgive on that. So I, I'm, I gotta be careful um, about how that works. Let's see, this comes underneath his piece here. All right, so. Daddy? Now we, let's get into some. Who's this? That's Han Solo. Han Solo. Uh, has you're doing a cheese. yes. You're doing a great job on Han Solo. All right. So here's what I want to do. I want to start with the brush on the top of his head. Now, for this in ink. Um, again, I just did a one basic shape, but now I'm going to add some bristles, um, in some depth there. Right, so it kind of gives me a little bit of separation. And last week when we did colored pencils, it was all about layering. So what I'm gonna do, because I don't wanna just shade it all in as one block, right? That would be a maybe a, like a typical cartoon thing. I wanna give this brush like we do in colored pencils some, some texture. So all I'm gonna do is very lightly and kind of going with the with the grain, if you will, I'm going to just put in some lines. Super, let me go in a little tighter. There we go. All right, so you can see that it's just light lines. And now what I want to do is I want to go back and I want to add maybe some lines coming up. We're just doing linear versions right now. Uh, of this all right not cross hatching just straight up and down lines and i'm getting a little darker in some areas to show maybe some depth in my bristles in that brush and then i'm gonna in the gaps i'm actually gonna make that dark so that we can show those like the separation in the bristles, like that we have some hard, yes, hard separation. All right, there we go. 
So you can already, we're already kind of adding some texture to this. It's not looking like just a, a single shaded block. Makes this more interesting, like we actually have some fibers there. And then here's where I'll might work up a little cross hatching work is from from the bottom. There we go. So I have a, a bit of a kind of a bit of a shadow line at the bottom. And again, I'm going to I'm going to pick some bristly areas. I'm going to extend those up to the top. I'm just lightly using my pen to do some shading, just light, don't press too hard. And our light source for here, for him is gonna be coming from this side. So from our, on the, our right side of the paper. So I'm just gonna, there's the circle, there's the light side, right? So this side of the brush is gonna be a little darker There we go. Okay. Now for this, the bottom of his brush, um, I'm going to do very close together lines, very lightly. And because his the bris the his brush bristles and that uh, plate at the bottom are fairly similar as far as color, they're kind of like that golden color. Um, I'm going to just use some cross hatching lines and I'm going to say from here it's dark and it's going to work a little lighter in. There we go. So you can kind of see we've got a little bit there. This underneath is going to be darker, which is why I don't want to go too darker on that because this is going to we're, we're going to show a little bit of variance. Now, this is going to be brighter. So on on this side, I'm going to I'm going to go ahead and pick my final line for that part of his brush. OK, and I'm going to go up here and now I'm going to pick a couple lines and bring those down a little bit, kind of like we did over here. I kept it super light. And I'm going to give myself that kind of three dimensional, you know, like if the bristles were to go in, it would go in right about there. Same thing here, same thing here. Okay. Now, again, I know I'm gonna keep this much lighter than this. So super light with your pen. All you gotta do is, you, you don't even have to show as many bristles as we do in that, right? So it's really just kind of picking. Sometimes I'll start with a little more pressure at the bottom and then work my way up. And then as I go up, I, I let off, as you can see. So, there we go. Again, it's, it's much brighter on this side, so there's not as much, Not as much definition as like what we have on the other. I might add a few more that kind of pop down. There we go. All right. So we have that. Have that texture to the brush. Now for this, it's not white, but it is bright. So because when we get to his eyes, we're going to leave that the white of the paper um, for most of it. So what I don't I want to be able to show in grayscale um, that this is gold. So it's gonna, it's not, it's gonna be very light, but not straight up white on the paper. And that's as, that's as much as I'm gonna do. I'm not gonna do any cross hatching on it. Straight up, up and down lines. All right, now for the bottom. So when I do this, I wanna, I'm gonna go ahead and 
put in my hard line there and for the posts and then finish off the round side of my helmet. There we go. And then I'm going to do that with his because I have his visor that kind of comes up into it also. So I'm just going to finish off his visor. There we go. That's it. I just kind of picked my final line. Now this is going to allow me to go under here. And this is where I'm going to do some more cross hatching. Now I want to leave that post a light color, right? So I might go ahead and make it even though it's underneath. I'm just going to give it a little bit. And then underneath here, I'm going to start with lines side to side, matching the angle of the front of his brush. My lines do not have to be perfect, perfectly perpendicular to each other. So you can kind of see where we're going there. Now, it'll he's got kind of a, a highlight on the back side. So I want to go through now I'm going to follow this angle on his brush. Yes. All right. And kind of go through again. And then I'm going to go from the corner. Kind of give it a little definition. I'll have that a little bit darker on, under there. And highlighter counts as pen. Sure. Because you can't erase it unless you have an erasable highlighter, which I've never heard of before, which means you probably invented it and you've cornered the market on it and you've used all your proceeds to buy cryptocurrency. I don't know, I made that up. Hunter, turn that down. All right, now I, I have that post light, right? So I'm gonna just kind of come in and darken this up a little bit more, a little bit more. It can get a little darker now, because this is gonna be green, which is obviously gonna be darker than the under, underside of his brush, which is gold. All right, so there we go. I can see his little post, right? We've got some shading, some shadows going on. Really wouldn't surprise me if they did head erasable highlighters, although I don't know how they would accomplish that. All right, now for his helmet on the visor, I'm going to go here and notice that this piece connects right here. And then we got the little half circle. All right. His hinge, if you will. Okay, so there, there's that. This under here is that kind of same gold. Um, I've never seen an erasable highlighter, so I'm quite intrigued by that. So now here's what I'm going to kind of show you what I do when I'm doing portraits. And I'm going to show you a portrait that I've done. As a matter of fact, let me go grab that. Um, so while you kind of outline your visor real quick. Let me grab a portrait, if I can find it. Scott, this would be terrible if I can't find it. Oh, you're done? All right, hold on, sweetie. All right, well, huh? Okay, no. So there's a thing in life called being prepared. What you're witnessing right now, not an example of that. Yes, I see that. I'll, I'll find it and then I will show it to you. Okay, so here's what I want to pull off. Um, I'm going to do the, the helmet usually, if, especially if I'm doing people because um, Scott, can you go to me real quick? So if I'm doing people and I'm sketching out like a portrait or something, I will choose like you can see highlights, right? And it almost creates shapeable areas. 
And then I'll use that to distinguish when I'm sketching and then I'll use cross hatching. So we're going to do that here. So I've got, I've got this, you're going to have to go find one, honey. All right. And then I have his flaps that come down and here's how we're going to accomplish that. So he's got like a highlight spot, right? And it kind of is like this in the cartoons. And what I'll do sometimes also is because I have this light source coming from here, um, I'll notice that I have his brush kind of comes over and creates a shadow. And then I might have another area. So it almost looks like a target. And then what I'll do is this is gonna be lighter. So I'm gonna work super light because it's like a bright shiny spot right i'm not going to do any cross hatching on it i'm just going to straight up go one one shade and then i'm gonna i'll pick um how i angle my lines to give kind of the indication of how the shape of the object is no no um all right like so and then I'll come back and like I'll have this shape a little bit this way. And there's not like a whole lot to distinguish it at the moment, but we're going to come back in and fix that. So I've got this little section here. And I'm going to go ahead and make that nice and not totally black, but darker. So you can see just cross hatching. And then I'm going to do the same thing here where I'm going to I'm going to space my lines out a little further. And I'm not going to press as hard. And then same thing here, I'm going to. All right. And then now I can see that the tone of these are kind of similar. So I'll come back. And I'll add a little bit more to distinguish between these two areas. Right. So we have this kind of dimensionality on his helmet of where the light source is and how we're shading it. Um, now, same thing that goes with like his visor right here. No. So we're going to say like he has kind of like if you look at sunglasses or, you know, something that has a, a sort of reflective service surface. There's area, so I'm going to indicate that with these two little lines, and then I'm going to make a couple bigger ones. And from here, I'm going to say that these two are going to be light. So this one's going to be the lightest, and I'm there we go. And here we go. All right, so those are my light spots. Now I'm going to come in and I'm going to fill in because this is green also, just like his helmet. So my lines are going to be a little closer together. I'm pressing just a little bit harder. And I'm going to come all the way down to this part of his, of the, like the hinge. I'm going to do the same thing up here. Here we go. Next stop. All right. And another one over here. All right. So there's an initial kind of reflective surface. I'm going to come back here because this is going to be a little darker. And I know it looks like a patchwork pattern, but that's because I'm going to start with this while I work on my cross hatching. So that's not going to be as dark. But this is green and green is going to be darker than the yellow. And depending on how much space I give between my lines 
when I'm doing my cross hatch will determine help determine shade like the tone of my shadows. There we go. Okay. And then I'm just going to finish this off here. Okay, so we're kind of creating this curvature. And I might after I'm done with all this figure out that maybe I want this to kind of blend with that. So right. So we're creating this dimensional effect on his helmet of this kind of curving shadow. Now, I don't want this to be as dark as its neighbor to the left, but I do want it to be a little bit darker. There we go. Okay, and I can do the same thing here. All right, and because I want this to show, I want there to be more contrast between his um, the little hinge for his helmet and this part, because this is going to be a little bit lighter. I'm just going to go a little darker with my lines. Again, the beauty of this is you're kind of you kind of think a little bit harder when you're when you're doing this because you can't. There's no erasing. All right, now. We got a few minutes left. Um, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to get this part of his helmet on the on the little side panels, and then I'm going to start in on his head, just so you can see that we're not just going to like press super hard and essentially color the whole thing in to get a black. We are going to let's see here. I got some shadow underneath. There we go. So what I want to do is I'm going to go ahead and outline his eye. Give that little speck of light. And then I'm going to do the same thing over here. Okay, and then I'm going to go ahead and round out the dimensions of his head. All right, so Marvin's looking at us. He's not super thrilled. And I'm going to go ahead and just because this is black and I, and I, I don't want it. I don't want to go totally black um, for the whole thing. I want to show kind of some hues of light across his. So it, it's going to be black on the left side of his face and how we kind of get that to blend all the way across. Um, yeah, that's totally up to Scott. Scott, do you want to do like a did you see what Jay asked? Yes, yes, that's fine. Because Scott's awesome. You guys should totally do an impromptu lot of Scott a day. That's that's correct. <laughs> <laughs> Which is coming back this summer, by the way. That's right. We are going to celebrate Scott Ryder again this summer at some point, along with an ultimate art tag. All right, so I've got that kind of roughed in. Um, this is where you can really get crazy with the cross hatching. And what I'll do is I'll widen out my lines as I get further away from the left because you don't have to have them all uniform the whole way around. Okay. And same here. Right, and then I know I've got like his eyebrow, so I'm just gonna kind of roll over a little bit with his eyebrow. And again, cross hatching, lots and lots of cross hatching. All right. And because I didn't wanna go such a solid black, you can already see it's, it's we're differentiating ourselves from, you know, the, the rest of the, tones, if you will. Um, I am going to use that opportunity then 
to where I want to show a shadow underneath his visor to his helmet. And then I'm going to go straight up, like pressing hard on the black on that. So I'm going to, I'm going to pick my line and it's going to go across like this and down like so. And I'm going to go ahead and just kind of almost fill that in. I'll cross over the eyebrow a little bit. I won't press super hard on that because I do want to show that. And I can use that to show shadow. I'll do the same thing over here too. We'll just Right, there we go. And then I'll move back in. So this is how we can create using because obviously his head's black we can create that look right but still give ourselves room for some dimensional feel and then i'm going to just do this shadow on his eye i'm going to do a line like this because it's a super light gray there we go so that in a nutshell is how we can use ballpoint pen to create artistic images. Um, again, I would highly recommend you draw, especially gesture drawing, like quick sketching and stuff like that, or if you're sketching uh, uh, realism. So if you're doing anything with um, you know, like humans or animals or stuff like that, I would highly recommend that you use um, a ballpoint pen or, or like an ink pen, like a micron or something. Um, I think that you, you will find, as I have, that you tend to concentrate more when you do that because you cannot make a mistake. So it, it kind of works to your favor. All right, there we go. And then I'll just kind of have his body. I don't have to finish that all the way, but you get the idea. We'll show a shadow underneath for his head. There we go. All right. Voila, ballpoint pen Marvin. So I hope you didn't find that too frustrating. I would really recommend you um, look at kind of like grayscale. So look at color images in black and white, and that will help you with um, your tones and how to differentiate there. And there we have it. The ballpoint pen, Marvin. So on that note, show of hands for the two of you that I can go on screen. How many of you are drawing with only a ballpoint pen? T, thank you. Cat, how did yours come out? Yeah, I'm talking to you. I can see you. Hello. Hello, cat. How did yours come out? It came out all right. All right, let's see it. Um, and it's not quite finished. I just kind of started doodling at some point. Oh my gosh. Doodling with a pen is great also. There you go. You get the ideas down and you'll find that you're kind of, like I said, concentrating a little bit more. Nice, man. All right. So, ladies and gentlemen, if you are in the Schaumburg area tonight and you are going to the game, I am art dropping this. So if you find it, you get to keep it. Rah, rah. And I have a whole bunch of other stuff to do. Um, T. Please show your piece. Uh, it's gift for you, Ben. Actually, sweet. Hold on, I, I need to. I need to get out of um, gallery view, and I need to go to speaker view. <laughs> that's awesome. That's, that's, awesome. that's like you. super highly impressive, and I love the highlighter. I like highlighter. Uh, it's on white. Right. That's awesome, man. 
Well, thank you, P. Love yeah, of course. Um, I think we're both wearing hoodies today because if T is by me, which he is, Minnesota, it is now 42 degrees when it was 82 yesterday, whatever. Anyway, uh, have a great afternoon. Oh, wait, I'm sorry. Uh, Rosebrick, yes. Shut up. Hold on. Let me go back to speaker view. Dude, check that out. Yeah, I'm all about that. That's awesome. Thank you. Absolutely. You got more done than I did too. Way to go, man. All right, Liliana and Heather Rose. Here's mine. Oh, I love that. Love the characters. I don't know what it is about octopuses, but they are, are like, a, is that like a squid? It's a squid octopus thing. Yeah. See, like there's something just cool about that. Awesome, dude. Love that. Love the creatures. Oh, nice. I love the shadow, like the hard shadows that you have underneath too. That looks cool. So let me ask you a question for both of you then. You're obviously doing stuff that you're kind of making up from your mind. I mean, I, so am I, but you're doing like these different figures. Do you find yourself trying to be more specific with your lines because you can't erase? Or are you just like, no way, dude, I could draw this in my sleep with like a paint bucket. Um, I'm just kind of sketching like how I do with the pencil. And if I mess up, I'll just start again. <laughs> <laughs> All right. That works. That works. Well, cool. Nice job, man. Nice job, ladies. All right. Uh, Nathaniel. My homeboy, Nathaniel. Where is Nathaniel? Hey. What's up, dude? All right. Let's see what you got. Uh, see, I, I had a feeling that this dude would be popping up. Check that out. Love the cross hatching. And see, what's great too is and what you guys have shown is you're able to show a differentiation of in color just by using tones. That's awesome, man. From my favorite video game of all time. That I, that I knew. Um, so Nathaniel is joining me in red dot this year. And if you would like to join in and do a canvas for red dot, Scott Ryder can put the link in and you can do a canvas and it gets auctioned off for charity, which is awesome. So I'm going to do red dot again this year. So is Nathaniel. Um, all right, dudes, have a great afternoon. And, uh, I look forward to seeing you next week. Happy Memorial day weekend guys. Later dudes. Thank Bye, you. Dude. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Bye.